let's sketch the graph of y is equal to negative 4 over x minus 2 plus 1. Now, uh, first let's identify the vertical asymptote. Okay, the easiest is to uh, find or determine the vertical asymptote. Now, this is a graph of a hyperbola. So, there is a value of x for which this function is not defined or it's an error. So vertical asymptote, let me go over this, is when you're going to get y is equal to error on your calculator. On your calculator, whenever you get y is equal to error, for that value of x, it's a vertical asymptote. Or in other words, whenever when are you going to get an error? When you're going to divide by zero. So well, <clears throat> I look at this equation and say, when is this denominator going to be zero? So, well, when x minus 2 is zero. That means x is equal to 2. That means this, this line, x is equal to 2, is your vertical asymptote. So, vertical asymptote is this line. So, how do you draw that line? It's a line passing through 2 on the x-axis. That means this where this is 2 and this line is called x is equal to 2. Okay, so you cannot take 2 here. Yeah? So let me show this on a calculator. So if you go negative 4 divided by, I'm taking 0 in, sorry, 2 in place of x. So 2 minus 2. That means you're making the denominator 0. Plus 1 will give you maths error. Okay, so this is not allowed, so that's why this is a vertical asymptote. But just looking at the equation, I'll explain the maths later on. I can say the horizontal asymptote is 1. Okay, I'll explain that later, so let me write your horizontal asymptote, horizontal, let me write this better, horizontal asymptote horizontal asymptote is when y is equal to 1. Okay, so this is your horizontal asymptote. So how do you draw that? That's a line passing through 1 on the y-axis. Okay. So this horizontal asymptote tells me that if you take any value of x, it's either going to be above 1 or less than 1. It will be approaching 1 from above or below. So let me show this on a calculator. So go to table menu. And just let's, let us delete this. So negative 4 divided by x minus 2 plus 1. So let's approach uh, infinite, positive infinity. So go to set. I'm going to go from say 0 to 1, 10,000 at a step of 1,000 and see what's happening. Uh, when it is 0, it is 3. So I will plot that point. Can you see? This is slightly less than 1. This is never going to approach 1. This is less than 1. So what can you say? As x approaches a large number, y is approaching 1 from below. It will be slightly less than 1. So that this is the maths. When x approaches positive infinity, your y is approaching 1 from below. From below. That means it will be slightly less than uh, less than 1. So your graph, your graph is going to go like this. As you approach infinity, it is approach, it's going to approach 1 from below. So let me draw this branch. So this is telling me this is an asymptote. Okay, now which is the other value that we saw? When x is 0, y is 3. So that is a neat point. When x is 0, y is 3. Yeah. So this is this point. So this is your y-intercept. 
Okay, so the next thing that where is neat is x, your y-intercept is when x is equal to zero and that we know that is three. So we can say one point that when x is zero, y is three, so zero, three is a point. Okay, so what is your x-intercept? So an x-intercept would intersect here and you you'll not have an x-intercept here. So this branch, so by just looking at this, I can draw the graph. Okay, I'll have to explain something else. Okay, so let's put your x-intercept, your x-intercept is when your y is equal to zero. Your y is equal to zero. So let's put y is equal to zero. So the equation becomes, so zero is equal to negative four over, what's the equation? X minus two plus one. So I'm going to take away one from both sides. If you take away one from this side, you have to take away one from this side. So this plus one and minus one gets canceled. So you can see negative one is equal to negative four over x minus two. So cross multiplying, so negative one times x minus two is equal to negative four. So negative x plus two is equal to negative four. Now I'm going to add two, so I take away two from both sides take away two from both sides. Why? Because I want to cancel this. So you get negative x is equal to negative six. So x is equal to six. When x is six, y is going to be zero. So let's check that. So go to set. I go from minus 10 to plus 10. And oops, yes, this has to be one and then let's confirm. When x is six, y is zero. When x is six, y is zero. So six, zero is a point. So this is a point. So this is one point. Okay, so this is the other point. So you can draw the graph just like this. I'll have to ex explain something else. So this is going to go like this. So approaching this line, and this branch would go like this. And this would be approaching this line. Okay, so one thing that I would like you to investigate is what happens? Why is this graph going like this? What would happen when your x is approaching two from the left? That means you're approaching two from the left and right. So let me show you that. When x is approaching two from the left, this graph is telling me your y is going to approach positive infinity. And when x is approaching two from the right, this is approaching negative infinity. So let's start. Think of a number which is very close to, go to run, and so let's, minus four divided by, think of a number which is very close to two from the left. Well, that is 1.99 minus 2 plus 1. It's 401. So let's approach 2 from the left, make it still closer to 2. So let me put 3 is 9. So this is my 1.9999. The five nines are there. So what can you see? So we can say when x approaches 2, from the left, okay, from the left, your y is approaching positive infinity. That's what's happening. And let's approach two, sorry, let's approach two from the right. So again, minus four divided by, think of a number which is approaching two from the left. So this is two, so the number very close to two would be 2.01, so two, 0 0.01 minus 2 plus 1. The 
is minus 399. So let's make it closer, 2.01. Can you see what's happening? As it's approaching to from the right, so let me put what's happening. This number is going to approach negative infinity. So we can say when x approaches 2 from the left, from the left, or from the right, from the right, you can say your y is approaching negative infinity. So that's why it's approaching negative infinity. But x cannot be 2 because when x is equal to 2, it will become undefined. Okay, so an interesting thing happens as x approaches 2 from the left and right. 